Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pixel Village and I'm Radha Krishna. From the very first pinhole camera to the very latest digital cameras, photography and cameras have come a very long way. One of the most interesting features of the modern digital camera is its ability to preview the image that you've just shot, of course along with many other. In the olden days, a photographer would wait outside the lab waiting for the developed role to come out like an expectant father waiting outside the labor room wanting to hear that first cry well those days are gone of course i mean you can see instantly as to what you've shot but that very advantage can at times become a disadvantage and i have seen that happening to many of us while previewing images on the lcd is a great advantage Trusting that same LCD for color accuracy and exposure can put you into a spot at times. To understand that, you need to understand exposure. We will keep the color and the LCD monitor for another uh, video. And in this video, we will look at how to and how not to or why you should or why you should not trust the LCD monitor for your exposure. What is exposure? Exposure is a proper combination of the aperture, shutter speed and the ISO which will enable the sensor to receive an X amount of light so as to give a properly exposed image. Now, to understand that, you need to understand how the exposure meter in the camera understands the image in front. And to understand that, I need to change this whole setting into black and white. Why black and white? Exposure meter is basically color blind and it understands only black and white. It understands only the brightness value of each point in the frame. There is white in this frame, there is black and there is gray. It reads all the brightness values that is coming in to, into the camera from the subject and it plots it in the exposure meter and a numerical representation of those values plotted in a graph is presented to you in your viewfinder, in your LCD monitor, and it's called the histogram. To illustrate this point in detail, I have to actually get into a shoot that will make this point a little more clearer. So, what I have today is a D850. I have mounted an 85mm 1.4 lens on it. Now, what I'm attempting to do is uh, I'm going to take a few pictures and I'm going to explain it along with. Uh, Nikhil, can you come here and take a shot? Focus just on this black and take a shot. We are shooting at 200 ISO, aperture priority auto and the f-stop is 2.8. Only the black. Okay, and now take a, a shot of only this white. Now, what I would like you to do is to meter it. Can you switch this to manual? Okay, and I'm gonna give you a reading at 200 and F28. The shutter speed is 60. And now take the same shot again. Okay, and take that same shot again. Okay, now what I would like you to do is to switch back to the aperture priority auto. Okay, and take a little bit of this black and this white. And also a little bit of my face, the shirt and the backdrop. Now you shoot at manual. Okay, now let's also shoot uh, an 18% gray. Aperture priority now. Okay, and switch to the manual uh, mode and uh, the metered reading which is 2.860. Now, um, you take the gray, black and the white together in one shot. Okay, and now shift to the metered reading which is 2.8 at uh, 160. Thanks, Nikhil. Thank you, sir. Now, what we're going to attempt to do is to look at all the images that we shot and uh, let's look at uh, each images uh, along with the histogram 
and uh, let's see if we can understand the image better instead of understanding them using the LCD monitor. I will require a slightly different setup because I also want to record the screen so that I can show it to you in slightly larger size. So I have all the images now in the camera. Before we actually start looking at these images and talking about them, let me put across a few principles in photography, especially related to exposure meter. One is the exposure meter sees all objects in black and white only. We discussed about it in the beginning of this video. The second one, only 18% of the light that falls on a subject reflects back. Human brain has this amazing ability to adjust itself to that 18% of light and still see black as black and white as white. Not so with the camera. The camera uses something called the dynamic range of the sensor to understand the black and the white. It is through about 255 steps, zero being the black and 255 being the whitest point. It is also expressed in f-stops. A large dynamic range implies that the camera can understand more information between the black and the white. So if zero is black and 255 is white, obviously right in the middle will have to be the gray. And only 18% is reflected back. And if we understand, the camera start reading 18% as the gray, only then it will be able to map the black and the gray properly. Which means anything camera sees it, it will try to bring to the center so that it sees both the black and the white properly. And histogram is that graph which represent how the camera has captured the black and the white and every information in between. Now with that understanding, let's look at the images. The first image, and uh, as you can see, the black is not really black. We shot this shirt using an in-camera meter reading and it came out as gray. Let's look at the histogram, the numeric representation of this image. Contrary to what I have told you, the black is supposed to be at the zero point, which is on the extreme left of the screen. Here, the black is lying somewhere in the middle. Hence, it is, it is, it is looking gray, okay? Let's look at the next image, which is the white background that we shot. Is it looking white? It is not because the camera is trying to pull it towards the center because for him, only 18% is what is reflecting back. So he's going to put that 18% on the middle of his exposure meter and going to expose it only that amount of light, which means your white will start becoming gray if you look at the exposure meter. But in fact, it is not. Now, let us look at these images in incident light reading. This is what we got. This is the black shirt, okay? Now look at the uh, histogram on the left. It is towards the black. Now that's what is expected in the histogram, right? So we have a black shirt and the histogram is towards the zero. Let's look at this next image, which is the white screen exposed in manual mode using the incident light reading. It is now white, it's the same light. It is now white. How? Because it is now towards the 255. Now let's look at other images that we shot. Now this is the shot that metered using the camera, a bit of me and the white. Here because both are put, there is black and white and the camera tried to take the average reading and put it right in the middle, you got your black as black and the white as white. Obviously, you saw two huge hills on one on the black side and one on the white side. Obviously, there was no gray. Now, look at the next image. This is uh, metered by the camera and uh, you have the white, you have the black, and my skin is the gray. 
So there is a small lump in the middle which represent my skin. Now, let me introduce the image of the gray card. This is gray, metered by the camera. Look at where the histogram is, bang in the middle. Let's look at the incident meter reading. This is incident meter reading and the same image. There is no major difference in the image, which kind of proves to you that 18% of light is what is being reflected back. Okay, so you now know what is black, what is white and what is gray. Camera sees the exposure in black and white. With that understanding, let's now shoot the black, the gray and the white. Here it is, the black, the gray and the white. This time I used a spot meter reading because I need to read the gray. And once I have the gray right, I will get my black, my white in place. So. Here it is, perfectly exposed image, okay? You look at the histogram, you will see a lump on the white, it is definitely not clipping. You see a black, which is definitely not clipping, and a perfect gray in the middle. Now, if I take this using my uh, metered reading, I still have the same image. There is no difference. So this proves that your effort to capture the right brightness value in the screen is to expose for that 18% gray. Which camera will then place right at the middle of your dynamic range and give you the full range of your sensor. Let's see the images which are overexposed. We overexposed this white. Can you see the histogram going out of the 255? It means that the image has no detail. It's called clipping. So anything that goes out of 255, you will not be able to record that image and there will be no information in that area. Similarly, look at this image, which is this black shirt, which is underexposed by a couple of stops and the uh, histogram is outside the zero point, which means the black also has no information. There is very little that you can recover too using software because you've already clipped and gone and it's outside the dynamic range of the sensor. You will do a little bit of uh, software manipulation but you're not going to bring back any information. Definitely not in your uh, highlight area. In your shadow area, when you try to open it up, what you will get is a visual noise. So, Exposing something correctly is very important. Getting everything inside this zero and the 255 is even more important. Unless what you want is an overexposed image or an underexposed image. Now imagine doing this exercise by just looking at your image on the LCD and ignoring the histogram. Okay, that's what we started talking about and we went into this science of exposure meter because it was important for me to explain to you the principle so that now onwards you will not entirely depend on your LCD monitor and go entirely by the histogram because under bright conditions, say she you are shooting outdoors and you are looking at your monitor you will see that same image differently from that same image inside, like say for example, a condition like this. If you start making corrections based on that judgment, it's highly likely that you will either underexpose or you overexpose. And once, remember, once the information is outside the zero or outside the 255, Nobody can help you. So we saw how the exposure meter works and how histogram represent that information. And we saw how accurate that information is. So will you trust the less accurate LCD monitor or the histogram? In the beginning, I told you that from the pinhole camera to the digital camera, the camera and the photography has come a long way. Well, the technology is there to take good advantage of it. 
not become a slave of it, which you know is not a great position to be in. Bye for now.